everybody welcome back to our channel if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe we'd love to have you uh, if you like the videos give us a thumbs up leave a comment share the videos um, if you've been following the news in the Philippines they recently eliminated quarantine for travelers coming from green list countries and as a lot of you probably already know the United States is not on that list of countries um, there are a few countries there that probably a lot of OFWs are glad to have on there. Uh, Taiwan, I think, is on the list. China and Hong Kong, which is places that a lot of Filipinos probably work. So uh, there are some countries on there that are beneficial to some, but most of the countries where a lot of the OFWs are and Philippine citizens who want to return home are, uh, a lot of those countries are still not on the list. So uh, presidential advisor Joey Concepcion has requested the government to include countries in North America, Canada, and some European countries uh, in the green list to allow travelers from these countries to enjoy facility-free quarantine upon arrival in the Philippines. So if you follow the news there uh, he is one that is normally recommending changes and lifting of restrictions uh, he was requesting recommending the not a double huh a double leaves not uh, yeah it's fine i will have a double ribs for dinner uh, so if you follow the news there, uh, he's the one who was pushing for the granular lockdowns in Manila and also uh, shortened quarantine and probably was pushing for the elimination of quarantine for the greenless countries. But he and he also uh, a lot of times is requesting to lower the alert level in the national capital region. So he's really pushing for things to improve and restrictions to be lowered. He's one of the more vocal people there that, that you hear from in the news. So he's asking for uh, the U.S., Canada, and some European countries to be added to the green list to allow people from there to go and not have to quarantine. Uh, they're not talking about any change in tourism. This is only for people who already qualify to enter. Uh, citizens, ballot buy-ins, people with uh, certain visas that already allows them to enter the Philippines. So no change on entry requirements, but it would allow people coming from these countries to not have to worry about quarantine, which for a lot of people is the thing that either makes it possible or not possible to go there. Because if you're an OFW and you only have a certain amount of time off of work and you have to spend 90% of that time in quarantine, uh, it's probably not worth your time to, to do that and go through all the expense of testing and travel, uh, quarantine, stay, which I think the government pays for some of that stuff for them, but uh, time-wise, it's just not worth it. And for a lot of other people also, uh, there's just not enough, uh, too much of your time is taken up in quarantine. So uh, he's wanting to add some of those countries to the green list, which is... Uh, would be a big step and a lot of people have been waiting for that. I think that that is probably one of the last things that would need to happen before they open for tourism. Now they may do tourism in the exact same way. They have the green, yellow, and red list in place. I think when tourism is available in the Philippines, when it becomes open, it's probably going to be green list countries first and maybe they will include yellow list countries later they will move countries from the yellow list to the green list but i imagine they're probably going to do it in steps kind of like they've done everything else so um, if they can get the united states canada and some of these other countries onto the green list i think that's a a big step for people wanting and waiting for tourism to open and the other thing that uh, that they've done recently, uh, October 1st, they increased the daily cap on arrivals, international arrivals. They increased that from 2,000 to 3,000. 
and they are talking now about the possibility of increasing that to 4,000. Now that is uh, in Manila, that's NAIA airport. Uh, that's the only place that they're talking about uh, the good possibility of increasing that later this month. They're wanting to get that up to 4,000. Uh, in Cebu and Clark, they have a much lower daily capacity. Uh, Cebu is at 1,000 a day and Clark International Airport is at 450. So very few people allowed through Clark on the international arrivals each day. And they say that they are currently evaluating the possibility of increasing arrivals at Cebu, but it doesn't say uh, what number they may increase that by. Uh, and then Clark, they said most likely will remain at 450 because of limited quarantine facilities in the area. So there's a possibility, a good possibility, they're going to raise that to 4,000 in uh, Metro Manila. And there's a good possibility that they're going to increase the daily arrivals somewhat in Cebu. So um, I'm thinking maybe end of the month uh, we might get an update on on more green list countries. I think they added a couple today, but uh, hopefully by maybe the end of October, the United States, Canada, and some of these other countries are are part of the green list. And then um, if that all happens in October, then maybe who knows what what comes in November. But my thought before was that they would try to get everything opened up, tourism included, before the Christmas holiday season for most travelers is over. I know that's a big time of year for the Philippines economy with travelers, people coming back home and spending money uh, OFWs, uh, ballot buy-ins, Philippine citizens living in other places, uh, and also tourists coming there, spending money, and they missed that last year. And I kind of thought that they would probably do everything they could to not miss that again this year. So we're getting pretty close now, and time is kind of running out for people to make plans. So I kind of expect, there's been a lot of announcements this month in October, a lot of things have happened. So I really expect that even more things are going to happen probably next month. So I'll put a link to the article in the description, anybody who wants to read the full article. But that's the latest update, October 16th there in the Philippines. Uh, pushing the government now, requesting for the United States, Canada, and some European countries to be added to the green list. So that's that would be good news if that happens. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.